As the years add up, God's faithfulness keeps multiplying. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by David Roper. David writes, Several years ago, I stumbled across a bit of fishing lore in a 2nd century ad work by the Greek writer Alien. Between Barocca and Thessalonica runs a river called the Astrakas, and in it there are fish with spotted skins, trout. He then describes a snare for the fish by which they could get the better of them. They fastened crimson red wool around a hook and attached two feathers. Then they would throw the snare, and the fish, attracted by the color, comes up thinking to get a mouthful. Fishermen still use this lure today. It is called the red hackle. First used over 2,200 years ago, it remains a snare for trout by which we get the better of them. David continues, When I read that ancient work, I thought, Not all old things are passé, especially people. If through contented and cheerful old age we show others the fullness and deepness of God, we'll be useful to the end of our days. Old age doesn't have to focus on declining health, pining over what once was. It can also be full of tranquility and mirth and courage and kindness, the fruit of those who have grown old with God. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Psalm 92, verses 12 through 15. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming, The Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. That's today's scripture reading from Psalm 92, verses 12 through 15. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your faithfulness throughout our lives. Help us finish our lives well in service to you, and to remember that old age does not mean uselessness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.